Hmm? That's you enjoy sweatshirts. Well, you know what? I literally, you know this about me. Everything I have except my pants is just stuff I've gotten for free. So <laughs> mm-hmm. now all I wear is Tim Dillon merch. That, <laughs> it's great. That Ben just gave yeah, to me. Ben's like, you want have... this? There's cum on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally every time I this, he's like, we got 40 of these. I'm like, this will be the only thing I wear now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah, intro the pod, dude. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to uh, Bag Fries. Uh, I'm Kevin Tinkin. Across from me is Bruce Gray. Our guest today is Jace Wayne Avery mm-hmm. at Sad Drawings by Jace. Uh, this this is the first official podcast of Bag Fries. Oh, really? Yeah. It's so certainly I, the second episode. I'm so glad that you've agreed to be a regular every week. <laughs> uh, Jay, Jay, just did a spit take and spit water out on the I just I fly through the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, you, uh, if you're checking out for the first time, I hope you enjoy. You can check out the back catalog of uh, uh, Brain Jail and uh, all that good stuff. Leave us a five-star review. Uh, send us an uh, email to bagfriespod at gmail.com and follow us on all social medias. And uh, Bruce uh, is has a OnlyFans that's coming. Yeah, out mm-hmm. that, uh, and dear God, come to see me in mm-hmm. Steamboat Springs, Colorado, February eleventh yeah. and twelfth, or I'll kill myself. That's right. <laughs> and send Jay's right. pictures of your fat hogs, dude. We're back, baby. Bru- Bruce has an Fully. only fat. Bruce has an only fan. <laughs> it's just uh, one. It's just one fat chick who lives in like <laughs> Iowa, and she's like, "This guy gets it. He I don't got five dollars." <laughs> Dude, I always liked the uh, you should be a, your your comedy should be on a try to laugh compilation. That's the best <laughs> yeah, yeah. thing I've ever said. I, think, <laughs> I do love. I've known people who started OnlyFans and made no money. They really made like, $12. like sexy OnlyFans. Yeah, like sexy OnlyFans, and they made like twelve bucks. These are girls. Really? Yeah, yeah. Damn, you know chicks. I do. I do. Huh, I, I know yeah. hella gross chicks. Damn. Damn. Have yeah. you been fucking? I'd be fucking sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to not fuck as of recent. Really? I always yeah. say. I was, like, I was gonna say. I feel like you. Or don't saying, have to try that. I mean, like you just, <laughs> well, Kevin knows. I've been saying that for 12 years now. I, I see you the, turning it down more than mm-hmm. uh, is acceptable in my mind. But mm-hmm. I also know you're striving for mental health. Mm-hmm. And women uh, don't help. Yeah, yeah, they be shopping. They, women they, hate mental they health. They be shopping. They, yeah. Women hate whenever bros get strong. They want to keep, they want to keep dudes They're down. They're trying to keep us you know, down. The yeah. problem is, honestly, I, I love you know four dates with a woman. I hate just the... The part of having a girlfriend where it's like, you know, like that. Yeah. Just like the minute of like, why don't you? And I'm like, I'm immediately out of here. <laughs> yeah. I don't want this at all in my life. You go to your apartment. There's like a bunch of different like woman shaped holes in the wall <laughs> where you've thrown women through the wall. There's like these Bugs Bunny things like in yeah. the wall. No, it's literally <laughs> I go back to a lonely apartment by myself every night. I'm like, man, it's still so much better than oh, yeah. having somebody go, you know, you should. Like, yeah, dude. Oh, man. I'm just turning into Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got the hat and everything. I mean, he was one of the greatest for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I think it was because he hated women so much. <laughs> alone I, time I, is what it's all about. Mm-hmm. What I, sucks is that I've spent to choose my only alone time today like this with you guys. Right. <laughs> this is your alone time? Yeah, yeah, it really is. Oh, wow. I had to do shit all day. I almost got my fucking laundry stolen, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God, dude. If I would have if I would have walked into that fucking laundromat and I would have seen the person touching my laundry, mm-hmm. I would have fucking put them in the thing, thrown a couple quarters in, done an extra fucking hot fucking spin and they would Locked him in there and killed oh, it's him. It's a hot, a hot spin. Uh, you know, you, like know, you put him, in, you know, you put him in the thing and then you press hot. Yeah, you press and then hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you press, if you go hot, hot, uh, hot, hot, delicate, hot, hot, delicate, delicate, hot. Uh, medium, <laughs> uh, and then you do fluff. <laughs> yeah. It fucking unlocks this crazy level. Yeah, your laundry is yeah, free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, I do cheat codes at the laundromat, dude. I like hot, hot, delicate. That's hot, hot, delicate. Yeah, that sounds Ooh. like my kind of strip club. Damn, yeah, <laughs> dude. Hot and delicate. Fuck yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I, uh, me and I, I called Jace and uh, and and you got. He got mad at me for a second. You got mad at uh, Kevin? this last weekend. Well, Kevin's always trying to get me to hang. And I'm, I'm trying not, I'm, to get I don't want to hang. Why don't you want to hang? I'm not a hanger. Why? I'm a chiller. He's trying. Well, why don't you want to? Oh, is it because he doesn't ask you if you want to chill? Yeah, yeah. He's like, you want to chill? Fuck. If he said oh, you want to chill, I'm like, hell yeah. I yeah, he's chill, just dude. saying it He's wrong. like, you want to hang? I'm like, I hate hanging. You know what's so funny? <laughs> I About like the Did psychology you- of myself mm-hmm. is like, I called you thinking like, uh, you know, Jace, I, I got to go hang out with Jace. You know, mm-hmm. he he needs a friend right now. You know, he's he's you know, he's not out in the comedy scene and hanging on uh, outside of uh, uh, Im- the improv with right. Ian Russo and the boys, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, you know, we're, we know you're missing all those people. So right. I'm thinking like I'll call him up and he'll be like, oh, thank God. Mm-hmm. Kevin wants to spend some time with me. I'd love yeah, yeah, yeah. to get some I'm time. I'm actually on Jace's side. Yeah. You do love to hang. Yeah. I love it. But I like to hang, but I like to hang with 
the, I, the of an inner circle of people mm-hmm. where Kevin's like, well, why don't we invite Slim Dick Jimmy John over here? And oh, he's like, dude, he's so great. Leave no, Slim no, Dick Jimmy John the hell Slim out Dick of here. Jimmy John. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dude. But I thought I was like, oh, you know, he'll be he'll be happy. Mm-hmm. And then you were like, I don't want to hang. And I was like, <laughs> well, what were you? Like, sorry, what were you doing whenever well, he called you? What were, I, what were your plans? It was literally this is what this is what always happens. It's like I have a long day at work. I'm like, what are you? Tell me about it. I leave the house at like seven. I get back at six. I'm like just trying to do a drawing about some gay political. Yeah, shit. you're like, dude, I'm drawing yeah. Shrek sucking his own dick. Yeah. Do not call me again. Dude, I'm trying to get reshared by Rogan right <laughs> now. Shut the fuck up. Um, and then it's it's like you call him exhausted and you're like, you want to hang. But the reason I get mad is because you then you're like a rapey guy at a party <laughs> with these hangs. Because I, I will say no, and then yeah. he'll he'll do four more. Dude, he's a rape. He's trying to close the sale. I, I really, he's talking to a salesman, right? I know. Oh, he's he's the trying sales, to sell. Yeah, he's trying to sell you on him. Easiest you're person not, to sell as a salesman. So it's like it becomes a guy walking out of a car lot where it's like, dude, I told you, I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but, like the price. No, he literally told me like, you can't force me to hang out. <laughs> Damn, dude. He lit, and I was like, and this is the part where my psyche is mm-hmm. like, it was funny to me after the fact. Right. I was like pissed uh-huh. after like i was just like uh, not pissed more hurt uh-huh. i was like oh uh-huh. and then i was like wait i called him to you know to be a good friend and he as being a good friend would be to just leave him alone mm-hmm. and i'm like that's not acceptable because i never that, see anybody you know that it's i know like my best friends in the world i see once there's there's some people who like i consider the best friends in the world i see twice a year well, yeah, that, this is the first time I've seen you this year. Yeah, exactly. Bruce has not seen me this and Jason's decade. My, Jason's yeah. my best friend in the yeah, world. Yeah, me and Dude. Bruce are tight. We hang out all the time. Yeah. Yeah. After you hung up, I went I <laughs> He called me. I, uh, I opened the door like the dude in Truman Show with a six pack, and I was like, Jay! <laughs> and then we're just doing nails. We yeah. have big towels. <laughs> you're not actually sober. Yeah. 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 You're just like, <laughs> just when you're with me, I'm you're like, I'm open a beer. I'm trying not to drink. Don't right invite now. Kevin, like, dude. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Then I see you on Instagram, like with shots, like a six shot. <laughs> yeah, I have the Stephen Paddock yeah. photo. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you accidentally added Kevin to your close friends on Instagram. That's where you post all your party pics. Like, oh, oh fuck, he wasn't fuck, supposed to be on here. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Video of you, like people are eating sushi off your body at a party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was this before? Before or after you asked him to do the podcast? This is before, and then oh I wow, was, you almost blew this. I episode. really did. I was mm-hmm. like thinking, like Jace, idiot. Dude. And part of me was like, Jace might be pissed, and then I, I literally started laughing at myself because I. I was like, you're just being super self conscious again. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't think you were. I think you did. I think you were totally right. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. You suck so much. Why, dude? Oh, how dare you? No, uh, Kevin, I love, dude, I love, I love to fucking hang. Yeah, dude. Not really. I just, I, I like hanging out. I have a, a group of people that I wouldn't mind if they went every single place with me. That's why I under I understand why famous people have a posse. Hell like yeah. I would, if I was famous, I would have a posse. My only issue is my posse would be a bunch of dudes who look like us. Mm-hmm. There would yeah. be no good looking dudes. There would be no. But I, I literally here's what I do is I wait until there's like a hang, like there's a thing. Yeah. Going on, and then I'm like, oh great, I can see all my friends at once. Yeah, I, hate mm-hmm. I just can't do the. You know, and I've had other people. Every not to brag, day, I'm a popular bro. Guy. I've had other people be like, "Hey, you want to go on a walk this year?" I'm like, "Walk." I'm like, "Sorry, not really," because I. It's like I only have a select amount of free time. Yeah. It's like if you want to get something together, get all the boys. We'll get rowdy. I'll come up there depressed, not drinking, talk about how <laughs> shitty my life is. All the pussy I'm not getting. See, I like yeah. those conversations. Mm-hmm. Those are my favorite convos. The deep, the ones that get deep. So I I'm hate like, a one on one hang. Oh, I man. hate a one on one hang. That hurts. I feel like it's so. We much were just pressure. hanging one on one like nothing. And I hated it. But the dog. <laughs> other, than my, other than my dog biting you, I thought it went pretty smooth. <laughs> I thought we were having a good time. We were talking shit about people. It was yeah, fun. It was fun. No, we were having a fun time. Jesus uh, but there was Christ. also other people there. There was Xavier. Oh, but before there was a minute where it was just us. Oh yeah, just panic attack. The oh whole come time. on! Like, Boy, that was a great time. I'm, Bruce isn't looking. I'm rifling through cards. Like, <laughs> uh, so what was Portland like? <laughs> Dude, Dude uh, what I you're what you're saying is where you're like, I want to wait till the event to happen. I couldn't be more of the opposite. I think because mm-hmm. there was a birthday party, and I don't even like this person, but I was uh, I was invited to this birthday party. And it was a big comedy hang, and uh, I got to the thing, and I my I had like my uh, people from like my group of friends were there, where I was like, all right, I could section off into that. That would right. be nice. But then I got through the thing. I parked outside of the bar, and then I sat there, and I was 
like look almost not like looking at myself in the mirror like I'm Nightcrawler or anything, <laughs> but like I was looking, <laughs> I was looking and I kind of just like I was like on my phone for a second and I sat and like really thought deep and I was like, I there's nothing I want to do in the world less than go into that party right, right now and have to talk to any of these yeah. people mm -hmm. who I despise. Yeah. And so I literally just got, I just drove home. That's, that's why I, I partly why I stopped doing comedy. I was just, just like, the people. I hate, I hate be, I mean, it's like, of course, like you guys, my other friends, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. seeing those people, but it's like, you know, Slim All, Jim, Timmy Dick or whatever. Slim Jim, we said, Timmy Dick. Yeah. Slim Jim, Timmy Dick, whatever we said earlier. It's like, yeah, Kevin loves the hang. Dude. Yeah. You yeah. walk into like lyric and then it's like Slim Tim, Timmy Dick comes up and it's like, what's going on, man? And he's yeah. like, oh, I had to sell my bone marrow. Cause I'm dying. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I would love for you to get smashed by a garbage. Yeah. Truck and then right fucking, and I'm praying over him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going, it's going to be okay, brother. And you're at lyric and fucking Johnny liberal view gets on stage. It's <laughs> like, uh, um, actually, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and there's always like you have a great set, and then somebody goes up like, actually, like yeah, that oh, type of thing. That. Somebody thinks I hate them just because um, they look yeah. retarded. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I feel like that giant that was up here earlier. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I think they hate me because I dress like Where's Waldo, <laughs> and I'm a fake thing that none of us believe. And this is where I go full Tucker, dude. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I Hell yeah, dude! Move, move the, the stands out of the way so Jace <laughs> yeah. can have his own shot. I find it interesting that a couple of years ago the lyric Hyperion mic was not a woke mic, and then all of a sudden huh. Trump gets in office and it is. <laughs> Interesting. Could it be that the liberals want to force their agenda on us? On the Lyric Hyperion open mic? <laughs> what is clowning? <laughs> Why is everyone taking a clowning class? They can't even do regular comedy. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. This Dude. is the, Welcome to the fucking Inside Baseball podcast, you Man. stupid fuckers. I will say... With if you the, want to stop listening now, get the fuck you know what, out you know what, you, you know what I do? I do love listening to Inside Baseball that I don't know about. Like, just the shit talking I can that. hear that so deeply in the no, really? so <laughs> It's like brain. you're literally rattling my brain. Yeah, I'm just a, I just... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the just table. holes in the table. <laughs> There's an inside baseball that you don't know. Well, about. I'll, I'll even listen to like a uh, podcast like from New York comedians. I'm like, I don't know any of these people, but yeah. I still love the shit talk. Yeah, that it's just yeah. there's a certain energy coming out of the shit talk of mm -hmm. like, yeah, it feels like, good. Yeah, they're like, dude, you know, what? I'll say his name, Johnny. Come gaily. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, dude, I fucking heard that. And then you look that guy up on Instagram, and you're like, dude, he posts too many reels. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop uh, posting the caption comedy. <laughs> Dude, it, we all have to do it. Stop Everybody, posting stories of people doing stand-up with quit, no sound and yeah. saying they're crushing. Quit boomeranging. <laughs> crushing right now. Yeah. yeah. The crushing boomerang. right now. I'm not showing any sound, but he's crushing. Yeah. yeah. And then you see somebody in the audience with his face like they're watching their mother die. Like they're watching their grandma's eye. Yeah. gets fucking nails driven yeah. through her Johnny eyeballs. Johnny come gaily straight crushing like always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. I send that in the, the door guy group chat all the time of people posting pictures of them doing stand-up where you can And this see. is a door company that you work Yeah, at. the door company, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay sells alarms, I sell doors. We're kind of teaming up. We're taking the world by it's storm. beautiful. But the, uh, the like, group chat with everyone that I work with, and we'll just, I mean, it's just a major shit-talking fest, but of, like... Oh, of course. Post, but, like, send... It's, I mean, it's also 20 people, so it's, like, even... It's, like, five group chats in one of yeah, just yeah. extreme... So yeah. I always just post pictures of people doing stand-up and be like, life... Every day is a blessing, and I, I love what I do, right. and what I do is important, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter that my parents work for Halliburton at mm -hmm. the very top. And Hashtag make, grinding. Yeah, I make millions of dollars a year. Yeah, yeah. But it's that, and then it's older dudes that go, like they're older dudes, and then you like see them outside of an open mic day. Yeah, you know, I've been a paid regular at the comedy store for 45 years. So I'm like, <laughs> I've been doing shit. I'm a headliner this. And then they get on stage, and they're like, the first thing, like, you know, I'm actually a reformed pedophile for sure. No, for real, I, for seriously, I am. A reform pedophile. And Those like, are the sets I want to yeah, see. Yeah, but then they like bomb harder than anything mm -hmm. you've ever seen, and you're like, oh, this guy's a complete mental. Right. Like, he's a nutbag. Yeah. Yeah. But there's I feel so like that many. happens so many times. There's so many out there. That's the problem. And that's like, you give me shit because I want to talk to guys, you know, that are like, whatever, at, you know, sometimes. I just, you got to say and hi and bye. I know, but there's just, everybody has made the decision to protect their mental health and stop doing stand up. So, like, mm -hmm. like usually I'd have a couple. Oh, never of been better. Yeah, I mean the 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 majority of people I know that have quit doing stand up have mm -hmm. found this bliss. They found Christ. Yeah, like a, they found it's like they found the Lord. You <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, kind of a little bit. And there's so I'm many. Christ 
And I'm just like, <laughs> I just get, you know, I'm, I'm there and I see, you know, whoever. And I'm just like, hey, human connection. You human know? connection. But yeah, you're always, he's, Kevin's always like, oh yeah, here's, here comes this guy. He's great. And then it's always the bone marrow guy. <laughs> the guy who just sold his bone marrow for, I never say for here 45 comes this guy. Oh, here great. comes this guy. He's the yeah. best. He's the best. I was just telling a friend. I was, I remember watching uh, Inside Well and Davis when I was like in my early 20s. Yeah. Just started comedy and like having a panic attack of like, oh dude, fucking art like ruins your life and then like i rewatched it a year ago i was like get a fucking job you loser <laughs> you fucking idiot <laughs> yeah well it's, it's, i don't know i just i, I kind of got to a point where and you're right there is definitely i can't open myself up to like oh that's sad they're going through whatever sure. type of thing whatever 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 yeah. i've just but feel then like there's I've a part of me that's like stop it dude yeah. stop it yeah there, well, there's suck, a lot of people suck at your dream it's ruined your life yes 100 yeah. percent. there's a lot of people where it's like dude you are doing this to avoid mm -hmm. facing reality of your life. Yeah. A lot of people will, and I mean, not like I'm, I'm probably doing the same thing, but it's like a lot of people have never got one laugh on stage in their entire life. Mm -hmm. They've never got one laugh off stage in their entire life. Nobody has ever said, hey, you're funny. You should be a stand-up comedian. Right, right. But still, they hang out every single night at the fucking open mic behind the dumpster, behind the gas station. <laughs> that, and they're like, dude, we grind all day. We grind all night. Mm -hmm. We're all Sam Kennison. Right. And yeah. we fucking rock. When really, it's like, dude, maybe you should have moved home a while ago yeah. and focus you, you might yourself. as well really be snorting like keyboard cleaner. Yeah, like, it's the same exact, type of, like, it's yeah. The same exact escape. Yeah, from and reality. it's the same. Yeah, it's people that. Oh god, it's just like they're like, yeah, I've been living in my car for three years. Yeah, here's my GoFundMe. And it's like, or you, you go home. Yeah, like, I've yeah. freaked out on friends who've been like, you know, it's just. You know, like some story about like they'll be like, you know, Rodney didn't make it to. I was like, shut the fuck up, yeah. dude. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, freaked out. Yeah, it's before. it's it's all a nightmare. Yeah, right? they're like, you know, Louis didn't really until he was forty come in. It's like, oh, he was running a Conan at twenty five. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut Seriously, up. I yeah. hate those stories because they're full of shit half the time. Yeah, it's also it's like, like Rodney had a job. He sold aluminum side. Yeah. For that that's, years. A, that's honest work. That's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's for this country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need I say they have three times more dips in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jace, you're like only all you respect are comedians who are also salesmen. Like you, you only like you're like yeah. He would sell door to door. Uh, George Wallace sold uh, napkins <laughs> to that. restaurants. I think that's true. Actually. Well, that's like GT, dude. GT used to sell gumballs. <laughs> That's right. He would he, right. he would restock gumball machines, dude. Yeah. He has since passed on to the great open mic in the sky. He's, he's gone to hell. But, uh, <laughs> he, oh, no. No, dude. Rest in peace, GT, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he got mad at me one time because someone said that he does uh, he restocks gumball machines. That's, apparently, he would make money like he had a bunch of his own gumball machines. And I was like, does GT stand for gumball technician? He's like, <laughs> nah, nah, it doesn't. No, no, it does not. No. Dude, uh, the funniest video in the entire world is a video I have to find <laughs> on my phone. Um, I have it on my old phone. I need to find it. It's of like this weird documentary that like some crazy person made about mm -hmm. like like a weird like half reality show, half documentary about like comedians. And there's a video of GT and he's like, you know, my comedy, it like speaks to people. I like to say a lot of things that other people are afraid to say. And it, no <laughs> bullshit, not even me editing anything, mm -hmm. cuts directly to him on stage going, what do you mean my sperm gave you diarrhea? <laughs> dude, <it's> just like, <laughs> dude, one of the funniest things. like That's the shit people are afraid yeah, to he's say. Like, oh, I'm just not afraid to speak my mind. That is so <laughs> on the nose with half of all, all open my guns yeah. that it's that shit where they have some righteous indignation that like I'm out there saying stuff and mm -hmm. they just get up and they're screaming the n-word you know for three minutes oh, yeah. if you think you're an artist you're a fucking moron dude if, it, if you're in comedy for anything else to not have to work a regular job and to make money off of telling jokes and mm -hmm. doing whatever really the uh, anybody who's in comedy or really anything that says that they are doing anything besides wanting to get paid not working a real job and be able to fucking sleep till noon or do whatever mm -hmm. is really uh, yeah. not right all there in the brain. Are yeah. the guys? Like, I, yeah, if I got if I got Fallon right now, I'd turn it down. I turn it down. I ain't doing that yeah, shit. Dude, if I got Fallon, I'd fucking show up early and do some fucking key bumps. Right, with right. Him. dude. Absolutely. Yeah. Whatever you got to do. Have to, and they're like, to... if I got Fallon right now, it would not change my life at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the most healthy way to look at it because mm -hmm. that's the truth. Yeah, yeah. But there's so many guys that are just like they think they're above it or or whatever. And I like that you've kept your leather jacket on this whole podcast. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, I honestly, the last video that we recorded, I saw how fat I am. It was, and I was like, I need some sort of like yeah. coverage. It was funny when we were setting up and you guys were all clearly jealous of the angle I'm getting right now. Oh, oh this is a great angle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. why I keep this telling Bruce. Well, that's why I pulled I said pull these stands out of the way so Jace can get mm -hmm. his his whole body on. I yeah, keep yeah. telling <laughs> Bruce we <laughs> Well, you guys bought a special IMAX camera to yeah, you guys. That's right. Well, I was right. gonna say you talking about how you look fat with the camera, a lot of people will say stuff like, Oh, camera adds 10, 15, 20 pounds. Yeah. We got this camera specifically because it does not add any weight really yeah, yeah, yeah. So this what, is, kevin looks like this that. is the actual mm -hmm. visual looks. representation of me uh, <laughs> i am this fat uh and i i think we should have some sort of goal where we do uh episode with our shirts off yeah i don't I yeah don't i would never that. do that once in my life well the naked comedy is hot right You're now killing me Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you too, I'm you so sorry. So Dude, Jace, what's going I'm on? I'm having dude? a nervous uh, are you wreck right Are you now. a nervous yeah, wreck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, tell, uh, let's let's switch it up here from open mic comedy uh, to uh, maybe perhaps something. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we're, something we're, an hour, we're an hour 45 <laughs> minutes into the podcast yeah. here. Uh, so, uh, I mean. What are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? You are gay. How come you're so gay? Why do lesbians always wear a vest? I do. Why do they dress like magicians? I, I need to flesh out with Bruce uh, a little bit. That's what I call gay sex, fleshing out. <laughs> uh, uh, no, but uh, he wanted to know how many dick pics you were getting from... On the first episode, I said, I know you guys were sending Jace a lot of dick pics, and if that's mm -hmm. upsetting you that he's not around anymore to receive them, feel free to send them to me, and I'll yeah. take a look at them. I don't know. And I told him no. Mm -hmm. I was like, you don't want that evil. Like it yeah, did yeah. something to Jace. Like all those <laughs> dicks. That's what broke you. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what, yeah, what yeah. fucking ruined your life mm -hmm. was that you like, fucking. Mm -hmm. I, I think all I, the dick pic you were getting. Yeah. No, I I think both Ben and Jace both stopped wanting to do the podcast because of the dick pics. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Because of the volume of the dick mm -hmm. pics. I couldn't coming. even check my email anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. Because mm -hmm. you were scared or because they were emailing them? Because to they, you? yeah, they, no, they weren't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was saying, if you're getting dick pics in your email, PDFs. That, that's just like an old man's I'm like, dick. oh, a mailbox drop. Okay. <laughs> Let me yeah. check this. Somebody I only got drops it. You're like, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> They're nearby. They're in the house. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming from it's the dick pics coming from inside the yeah, house. Yeah. I, I don't know if I because we did an episode where I was talking about shitting a lot and that I never got any dick pics. Yeah. And you continued to get I think them. in retrospect, I don't think I actually got that many. So now I'm wondering if I just lied that I got a oh, lot and don't really remember it. Yeah. I mean I got like some, but I don't really like it wasn't like a thing that I really remember. What did they look like? You know, how were they <laughs> penises? You know, uh, wow. like every penis. Wow. Looks, you know, no, no, no. Any dick pic I've ever got has been like, ah, oh, that's kind of sad state of affairs. Soft yeah. or hard. Yeah, you never send a soft dick pic. Uh, yeah, you got you have. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Right when I get out of a cold bath, you always want to have them <laughs> wanting more. You it's know like that, I mean? old, that old Richard Bain joke where he's like, "I've been with my girlfriend for so long that I don't care about her seeing my dick like super big. Now I just want to show her how small it can get." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you do the uh, what is it? The egg in the nest move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just buried really in the nice. puke. Yeah, yeah. yeah I always I like to wrap it up in my ball sack, mm -hmm. and I got a lot of sack. Yeah. Also, send, my ball, my, ball my preferred state is. <laughs> Uh, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I like to walk around. I like to wear a, a t-shirt and no pants. You got a kind of Winnie the Pooh feel to you. Do I? Yeah, a little mm. bit. You're you always looking for jars of honey. <laughs> Get my head stuck in there. You're always right? getting stuck in yeah. doorways yeah, yeah, yeah. and looking for honey. You're the perfect. You're a stuck porn guy. You're <laughs> <laughs> so constantly like, oh no. But I'm like a bear and my head is stuck in yeah, a yeah. jar That's of honey. That's what happened with the laundry machine. You were trying <laughs> yeah. to do a stuck porn. Yeah, I was waiting. Yeah, it was a tra I set a trap in the laundry machine where I pulled some of my stuff out and I was waiting for a hot guy to go put my stuff back in. Yeah. And then I was going to close the door on him yeah. and start fucking him in the ass. You're like, I hope nobody fucks my ripe ass right <laughs> While I'm hunched, uh -oh. over, hunched over the thing, there's like you've got uh, like uh, just uh, candy leading up to your asshole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the original stuck porn was? Uh, 127 <laughs> hours, the movie where that guy <laughs> that guy cut his arm off because he was afraid of somebody coming up and fucking mm -hmm. him. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a very homophobic movie. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. That's it what. Really yeah, James Franco. That was. That's why he got canceled for making that homophobic yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. Why did he get canceled? He was like to messaging a 15 year old. Was uh, he doing that too? Yeah, yeah I, think I think you're thinking of Christopher D'Elia. Yeah, oh, I am yeah, thinking of Christopher yeah, D'Elia. I, I, call, I call him by his full Christian name. <laughs> Christopher. Yeah, me and Christopher D'Elia were hanging out. Yeah. Did that me, guy really have, yeah. Did yeah. he really have to cut his arm off in the movie? Could, couldn't he? 
Could oh, he just like been like, hey? I think I don't think James Franco now. really cut his own arm off. No, no, no. I'm saying the guy in the movie who did it. Because if it was me, I would have just been like, yo. Yeah, I would have just made hey. the rock. <laughs> yeah, just be stronger. Yeah, yeah, now. be stronger. What you should have done is prayed. <laughs> <laughs> That's like in a church. Yeah. Like a <laughs> I'm thinking of another man who was stuck behind a, a stone for three days. Mm. <laughs> That's 72 hours. <laughs> Pray, speak on it, brother. I, I bet some. I bet somebody in a somewhere was like, you know, if he just would have prayed, somebody would have came right along. Yeah. And but it's like if somebody would have came along, what would they have done? Yeah, they just yeah fucked his ass. You know, that's what. <laughs> did you watch that documentary Rescue about that Thai soccer team? Uh huh. They, did they like, like crash like that. Type no, of thing? they went into the. They were like in this cave and then it started raining and then they had to go. Oh, way all back the little the kids, right? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. guy who Elon Musk called a pedo guy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. dude, that guy's like the the like main guy in the movie. Okay, because I was the documentary is great, but I was watching it and I was like, oh, I wonder which one of these guys is the guy that Elon called a pedo guy. I was like, oh, it's the main guy. Well, you gotta imagine if you're a pedophile, that's a dream scenario. Yeah, well, these trapped guys, in an underwater. Cave yeah, like, literally, yeah. you're the you and your friend who are back there right. are the only two guys in the world yeah. who can get back. You're in the pedophile playboy. Mansion. That's yeah. the grotto. It's that. It's, it's the pedophile Playboy Mansion, and it's also the ultimate stuck porn, where it's like they are beyond stuck. You know, they fucking had to. Uh, they had to fucking uh, inject those kids with shit to pass them out to like really? take to put the mask on them and drag them out of there Jesus. through the water. Really, the documentary is crazy. Yeah, I you know the Chilean miners all fucked each other. I did actually. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. put condoms down there. Yeah, yeah. They and they're like, <laughs> they they drop condoms. I down swear to God, they, no, is that true? We're gonna have gay sex. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jamie, look up if the Chilean miners had gay sex with each other. Uh, There's no way that's. True. I've also had sex with some Chilean miners. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> they, they, yeah. But Chris- they didn't much work with the hands. Yeah. Let me tell you something. They didn't have jobs yet. Uh, he said my pickaxe. Is it, they were down there for like <laughs> they were down there for like forty days, right? Forty days. Yeah, so forty, 40 days. Forty days. A lot of stuff. Did they? They. It's, it's true that they were fucking each other. Is that actually? The I don't know. I don't think. So. I, sw- I for some reason, I, this is like a playground rumor where they're like, "Did you hear that fucking?" Johnny has two moms, but it's like, yeah, the Chilean. This is what me and yeah. me and my friends were doing high <laughs> highbrow comedy. We're like, yeah, I know those Chilean miners are probably fucking each other right now, <laughs> dude. I, I Bruce Gray, Channel Seven News. Of course, we know the Chilean miners made it out safe and sound, but yep. what we don't know is what was happening in the mines. And that's yeah. what oh we, yeah, it's like we'll I'll, find I'll, out next. Were they fucking? Yeah, yeah. Nancy Grace. Now are they fucking <laughs> down yeah. in the mines? Now this is just a liberal agenda. Just again, we here. all know Chileans are gay. <laughs> Why would they look like that? I mean, I'm just saying. They Why look do gay. they all look so round when they do so much labor? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, okay, great. I'm making everybody comfortable. Uh, Why did they got to eat? They're not doing gay sex. All they eat is beans. <laughs> now, honey, this may be ignorant, but I figured they'd be less brown after being down there in that cave for so long. <laughs> what if there was one journalist who was like, I'm going to get to the bottom of this story, and he went down into the thing? Because you know that thing they bring you up in that's like a tube? Right. And like they like they It's like one of the, it's like the thing at the bank where you put it in, and it's like, mm-hmm. boom. Just like, shoot you up. Yeah, shoot. basically. <laughs> but they like drag him up in this thing. And I, if I was a journalist, I'd be like, yo, put me down in the thing. And I would go down there with a flashlight and make sure there was no condoms or lube. <laughs> yeah, no gay sex happening. Yeah. And if I was down there and if I was one of the miners and they dropped down condoms, I would hide them from everybody. So right. we all had to bear You'd back. be the RA for the, <laughs> for the mine. Yeah. Yeah. I would bust everybody up. Like, no, no partying down here, dude. Mm, dude. When you said, you know, that thing that they like lift you up in, I just immediately pictured you being escorted by chopper, like <laughs> out like, of the tube where your legs and arms are sticking out of the yeah. bottom of this canvas tarp. That <laughs> would really be your ideal scenario, like a, a forced hang for like 40 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. That would be yeah. like, the, the, the stones would come down, Kevin would be like, jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> Got him right where I'm Boys. Going like, yeah, it's just you two. It's like, fuck. Yeah, you guys go hiking, and Kevin's like, "Man, I sure would suck if, suck if we got our our yeah. arms stuck in some rocks." Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin's like, "We should go in that mine that says <laughs> with the big skull on." Yeah, it. It says, do not <laughs> enter, dude. And we'd be camping; it would mm-hmm. be perfect. Yeah, we should go in the big mine from the descent. Uh, have you I, seen that movie? I, I have seen that. It's movie. a good movie. It's a dude, great movie. Me and, Ke- I, me and Kevin went camping, and he fucking. He he took a shit right in the woods. Oh, and you- then uh, and then he took a shit in the woods, like right behind our campsite. And then he walked over, and as soon as he got back from shitting in the dirt, he like looked left and looked right, and there was a, no bullshit. There was a bathroom from like where you're sitting to, to the end of this table. It was like there was a bathroom right. The there. man loves shitting. He he loves shitting places he shouldn't. I uh, we've talked about. This. You know, it's like when 
You're when, shitting. Yeah. <laughs> he got robbed. I have, Why is it called shitting? When you, <laughs> I'm always constantly being put in a scenario where I can't shit where I want to. Mm-hmm. And so I could either, you know, uh, where do you want revolt to against where it eats? in a bathroom. Okay. You know, where or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, you know, I could just say, hey, I love this. Right. You know, I enjoy it. That, that day in particular, there was no time. Mm-hmm. There was no time for me to like look to see if there was a bathroom or anything. So I found a clearing, you know, yeah. under a log. Your vision is like the Terminator when he's trying to put <laughs> yeah. a, a piece it's like, of clothing. Yeah. Can it's wear. just little men's bathroom <laughs> sign showing up. <laughs> well, not only was there a bathroom that was fairly close within visual distance, mm-hmm. but there was also another family like setting up camp. Yeah. Right. And uh, and this kid went over. He's like, "Ew, look at yeah, this yeah. pervert!" <laughs> <laughs> that was like when me and Noah did uh, mushrooms a couple of years ago. And we yeah. thought we went we we went on a hiking trail in Malibu, and we're like, "Okay, this is far enough from the trail," and then we dropped like. Two fistfuls of shrooms, and then like mid, like godlike trip, we realize, oh, we're like twelve feet away from the hiking trail, and the entire trip, I'm literally like, I'm seeing the face of God. I think yeah, I'm yeah. dead for hours. I'm like imagining the Pacific o- Ocean baptizing me, and then like some Oof. just like fat like couple comes up, and they're like, look at that damn me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude. Are you God? There was literally like there was a couple that came and they like kind of came out towards us because they were like, oh, it's a place you can look at the ocean. And they were standing maybe 10 feet away from us. And me and Noah like, weren't saying anything. We we're just looking forward. And it, in my head, they just walked up and then just like just mouth open, just stared at us for like an hour. Yeah. yeah. Like, don't, if I look over there, it's all over. I was seconds away from being like, hey, man, we're on a lot of shrooms yeah. right now. Can you leave? That you have to tell everyone. They look at you yeah. crazy, and you think that they think that you guys are Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, we're not. Yeah, uh, yeah, just because we're eating bugs. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are just eating bugs, and like your shirts are ripped, like you've been out yeah, there for yeah. days. I think I'm eating cartoon delicious <laughs> bugs. I'm just like eating garbage and shit. Yeah, I'm I always, naked, covered in blood. I always like to go in a place where there's no cell service, mm-hmm. and I'm just. I'm basically at the highest risk for death. Right. Okay. But also, there's no possibility that I'm going to have to you're enter the, in a conversation. You're at the highest risk of life, dude. <laughs> wow. Dude, I took the I took the shit of my That's lifetime. That's so true, man. Yeah. The shit Didn't of my lifetime? lifetime on that trip. Because it was They're out. calling it the shit of the <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like News crews <laughs> yeah. everywhere. The perfect like, storm. Yeah, <laughs> the way that, like, whenever the, uh, Gabby Petito's boyfriend was, like, missing, and there's <laughs> news crews outside of the house, like, he's going to emerge any second and tell him he took the shit of a lifetime. <laughs> you yeah. think he'll ever shit bigger, Bruce? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we were. Champ, we, champ. <laughs> whenever Kevin had come up to my place, whenever I was, uh, when I was living in Portland, and we went camping at this, like, fuck, it was, like, an unbelievable like a beautiful lake and we did mm-hmm. ate some mushroom truffles and went out on a kayak and I was on mushrooms and I thought it was very funny to lie to people right. and so people were coming by in kayaks and I'd be like yeah we just saw the craziest bald eagle like right over there they'd be like what really I'm like yeah it was nuts and, and we'd pull away laughing. we'd pull away and I'd be like fucking <laughs> 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 idiots dude. just telling a lie and dude, leaving yeah and then uh, we only rented the kayak for a certain amount of time and so then we had these uh, inner tubes mm-hmm. and so we were just in the middle of the lake on these inner tubes and I had to shit so bad and Tegan's like dude shit out here <laughs> like and it's probably we're probably yelling and the w- sound probably carried all the way to the oh, shore. Yeah. And so like, well, we were literally because we had these inner tubes. We were literally kind of like in the middle of the lake, like further out than you would mm-hmm. think was a good idea necessarily. Sure, sure, sure. sure, sure. But, but there's people around, like not like immediately around, but like you know on the shore. If anything, we're like, mm-hmm. oh, and we, we we definitely saw a guy flying a drone over the lake. Oh yeah. Afterwards, so I like yeah. to think that there's video footage of you out there somewhere yeah. <laughs> shitting in the lake, dude. Yeah, it's just so, a beautiful like aerial footage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just heard pops yeah. up behind me. Trillium this. Lake in Wait, fucking... did you, so did you pull your shorts down and go through the tube? Dude, he, I, well, he, I went out of the tube and then I went it was like and this. I, he was underwater. I kind of like oh, laid, okay. laid back a little bit, like Jesus, kind of Jesus pose with yeah, my yeah. feet. And I fucking uh, undid my thing. My uh, undid my things like I'm wearing waders. <laughs> I just, like, pulled my shorts down and I fucking ripped the gnarliest fucking log. And then I <laughs> and was he's, like, we're both laughing. Hysterically. hysterically and I literally I was time. laughing so hard I thought I was gonna drown and so I'm like swimming back to the tube and I'm like huh, huh, and then Kevin's like oh my god and then I turn around and the turd had just like floated <laughs> directly up to like floating on top of the thing as well as the inner tuber kayak and was. He, he looked and he saw the turd and he looked back at me and his face was like white as a, like he was literally people like were appro- running. hot girls were approaching on kayak on a, a paddle <laughs> yes, board at yes. the moment it was like there's a, a girl night. doing yoga handstands Dude, on 
dude. on a kayak, <laughs> dude. Like, and the turn, and I'm like swimming, and he's like, he's, fo- he's, he's following you, and like, dude, I was like, dude, stop. and I like started doing this thing in the water where I'm like trying to push the water away so it'll carry the turd, and then literally like two seconds later, we saw the drone flying overhead, and we're yeah. like, holy fuck, dude. Yeah, it was. You yeah. have to tie a stone to it. <laughs> to make somebody. Yeah. I'll show. I'm gonna pull a picture of the lake just so you can see how beautiful it is and how serene. It's and quite then, gorgeous. It's literally me on mushrooms dropping See, a I, turd. I kind of, I, for some reason, I thought that you the entire time were still sitting on top of the tube. <laughs> oh <my laughs> yeah, God. it's beautiful. It's like a family in a kayak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, no, <laughs> I, I went out of the tube and I was like, dude, hold on to this because I'm like, if this if this tube goes away, I'm going to fucking drown. And then... You drown and then the turd falls on you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I drown, the turd is like on yeah. my face. <laughs> it's like the, the quarter machine at Dairy Queen. Where yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, so, yeah. Oh my God. It was, but it was the shit of a lifetime. It felt incredible. The I, shit of a lifetime. It was, Even it felt like a water birth. The Bruce Grace. Story. And I, I understood water birth after that. <laughs> Well, dude, I, I just, yeah, we had the inner tubes like this with half of our body underwater and mm-hmm. like that. But I was laughing so hard that I was like falling underneath. And then at one point, like, couldn't stop laughing yeah, and yeah. genuinely felt like <laughs> You're in this danger. could be the end yeah. here. And then we went back to the shore and I was like just loud enough trying to be like, yeah, I think somebody shitted out there in the lake. I think I saw somebody poop. I just there. imagine you like the end of a Friday the 13th movie, like you're underwater, <laughs> <laughs> mouth, mouth open, and then the turd just <laughs> goes straight into right. your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'd love to have that shot, the turd floating in the water above. The, the w- drone. If I could get the, that drone footage, I should have asked that guy. Like, so wait, where's this? Where are you guys going? You guys making a movie? <laughs> Where are y'all going to post this? We looked on uh, Facebook oh, or well, something yeah. afterward to see all the people that were there. That had oh, that was that a trip too because we were so we afterwards we looked up Trillium Lake mm-hmm. on Instagram, the geotag, and then yeah. did the recent. And so then we were just like seeing people that we saw that day and like seeing their whole oh weird life. Yeah, it was yeah. really odd. Some real uh, Ted Bundy. Yeah, yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. it was it got real yeah. creepy. For yeah, a it second. was like we were. Yeah, and I was like, "Where's that girl who was doing the yoga?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would just and we were just looking for a picture. Of your shit, you know. Yeah, we somebody just be like, "Damn, there's footage. a damn a video of a mom was like, I'm having fun at the lake with my kids, and there's a damn turd on the damn thing. Can't go nowhere. Medea's out in a canoe. Yeah, yeah. there's just like, yeah. yeah, it was. Oh, hell no. Most of the people who were out there were awful. It was just like ultra, like a lot of white, like. White, either white. There was no in between. It was either white trash people or like rich people, and all yeah. of them were just like. Wasn't well, that like most of Oregon? It's like neo- yeah, neo Nazis, hippies, and rich people. Yeah, and I yeah. always thought Oregon was like a bunch of Grateful Dead hippies, but outside no. of Portland, it's all baby. Yeah, it's like the. Like, mo- have you seen the movie Green Room? It's no. like those type of guys. Yeah, it's, it's like just, it's it like odd. Nazi communes and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it was it was super odd. Yeah, people I, who want to live outside the law for whatever reason go to the Northwest, the Pacific yeah. Northwest. Yeah, it's it really, beautiful. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. It was great. I had a great time. But it, there. Do, it does attract like renegades. For what, it's always had a history of that. Yeah. yeah, I got shit on by a bird at a cafe. Oh, dude, he almost got a shit. He almost got. He got. I took a shit in the lake, and then we were eating a. We were that bird this, was doing shrooms as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, dude, I accidentally shit it on a guy. Him and another the bird and another bird were on the uh, phone poles, just upside down, laughing. <laughs> dude, there was a time when I was a kid. Uh, uh, my dad's friend Josh had come over. I was young because my sisters were at school, and my dad's friend Josh, who was a sick ass dude, came. And my uncle lived next door, and then so they, my fr- dad's friend Josh, had brought a pellet gun, mm-hmm. and I was a kid, and we were just like shooting out my uncle's like outside light fixtures, Hell like yeah. just busting his light bulbs. Hell yes, dude. and then. Uh, my dad's friend Josh with this pellet gun there was a bird on a wire and he fucking blasted the bird and the bird was sitting on the wire and then it just went Foom, and then was just hanging upside down on the wire and then my mom came out and was like you guys better fucking shoot that bird down before the girls get home from school and then, so then the rest of the day the rest of the day my dad and his friend Josh are just shooting at this bird that's on the wire oh like God, trying Jesus. to get it down <laughs> just drunk like yeah. how the fuck did you shoot it the first time <laughs> yeah so I don't fucking know you shut the fuck yeah, we were blasting my uncle Joey's house. Yeah, yeah. Fucking shit up. <laughs> That's the same house where uh, where I had a, a, a bike jump and uh, I had a sick bike jump in that backyard. And then mm-hmm. there was this tweaker on my street who uh, he played a sick prank. Actually, he uh, his family was in the house and he was like, "Hey, you guys don't give a fuck about me. I'll go into the bathroom and shoot myself." <laughs> and then he went into the bathroom with a gun and he shot it. Like into the ceiling, sick prank. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he went into the bathroom and he shot it into the ceiling, yeah, and then yeah. he, I, he, I think he did the motion of like, uh, <laughs> like falling uh, over, <laughs> and so they were like, oh, what the fuck, and so then. Uh, 
uh, that guy is that Jesus. dude. And then so then that uh, that family came down to my house because my mom was friends with the mom. And then uh, she had parked her car in my Uncle Joey's backyard, and then that tweaker crashed his truck through the fence with a chain and hooked his chain up to the uh, to the other car, uh -huh. and he was, like, driving in reverse. It was a big backyard. It was, like, a big lot. And he started driving in reverse and just, like, Tokyo drifting the car around the backyard. Jesus. And the biggest uh, fate of the whole thing is that it uh, it knocked over my bike jump. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. And that guy died in jail. Uh, what, he died? He died. <laughs> he, 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 he died. He died. A safe life. He, you know? he died in like a downtown sheriff jail because uh, he didn't have his diabetes medicine. <laughs> but he, he had a sick ass dirt bike too. Man. <laughs> See, you don't feel bad for people that can't get medication. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, you know? I, yeah. I was allowed to do a lot of shit. Like, I would just like I would just like kick it with that tweaker dude, and like he would give me rides on his dirt bike and shit when I was like very young. You're like the Bakerfield uh, Mark Twain. Yeah, yeah. Huckleberry yeah. Fan, Huckleberry yeah. You want to just pull that out of there? I could. I, yeah, yeah, I guess I could pull probably. It. Am I making a lot of noise here? Yeah, yeah. a little right. bit. But you know, what are you going to do? I want to hold it still. <laughs> Yeah, feel free to keep holding it. You know, yeah, you want to. It's just you it's, have it's a weird stand. angle. Like it's like I can't quite get down or high enough. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah. Mean? So I'm just gonna go back like this, dude, and see. just drive my balls into my ass. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's, down that's what chair. you've been trying to do is get your. Set well, your... this is always the problem on a video podcast is I always need to adjust my dude, balls. I are I have done it once just yeah. already. I, I, I just gotta go for it. Let's do it. I I've, go I've gone completely. I've completely disassociated. The idea of that I shouldn't be allowed to adjust my balls in public, mm -hmm. and I just do it. Yeah, you. Got and if people it. catch me doing it, I stare back at them. I at do all. it anywhere that where they're like, it's it couldn't be turned into a GIF of me just reaching down and <laughs> yeah. just grabbing my <laughs> entire ball sack. Well, that's a problem with the and shifting China. it two feet up. Yeah, <laughs> you know, with that so many cameras in China. There's so many cameras in China, they're mm -hmm. gonna get every ball adjust. I wonder if that affects that's why the they, social they, score. I was just saying, you lose, that's why they you have such points. a high su suicide rate. Yeah, this sushi. guy's <laughs> sushi, sushi side. <laughs> It's I've committed that a few times, pal. Uh, I've done a few. I've done a few sushi shakes in my day. <laughs> I have a, I have a stroke. You know what the worst <laughs> is? Is whenever you try to do the over the pants ball adjustment and you're like are going to do it, but then you lose mm. grip and it looks like you're pimping it like it's a home run. <laughs> so you like do it and then you lose grip and you're like, boom! Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like what? you know, like the end of a high five where you're like, yeah, yeah. like I, that shit happens to me like all the time. You're pulling a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like completely. I like do, you go to do it like just a pinch on the on the old ball. Of the fucking, uh, I literally do. I literally do under the pants reach grab, and then it's usually what's happened is you know because one ball is always lower than the other. It's mm -hmm. like I have to take it, turn it, and then like pull it back up. Jesus, and like stick it back into place. Like a, a, a monkey grabbing uh, <laughs> a object through a square. Yeah, it really hole is. It's, <laughs> it's, it's that thing where I can't get my hand out unless I let go, but I can't let go because I'm a dumb monkey. Yeah. Well, yeah. you don't want to let go of the ball. Yeah. No, I always just do a, like a couple of kick moves. I always know? go like, up to the couch and I start like rubbing on the fucking. Couch arm, <laughs> oh, like how a girl like yeah, for yeah, the first time. Yeah. yeah, I'm just rubbing, yeah. and I'm rubbing, and I'm mm -hmm. rubbing. I like to grab either side of my pant legs oh, and really just adjust. pull them out and do like this kind of motion. <laughs> <laughs> pull your nuts out and yeah. just yeah. ring them out. Yeah. And I, I always go. Huh. Yeah, I grab my sack like it's an old blanket, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's a, like I'm adjusting a comforter. Sometimes well, you have to. Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes I squeeze too hard, and I'll be in the movie theater, and I'll go, "Ow, ow, 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 ow! <laughs> My just... fucking nuts!" <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this is how insane I am. I was literally thinking because I've been. I think a, a part of getting sober is you start worrying about money for the first time in a while. Mm. It's not like I'm, you know, hard up, but I'm like okay. Yeah. But I was literally thinking to myself, I'm like, I, if I don't start making more money, I'm never going to be able to get my balls reduced one day. <laughs> and that was like literally like a 20 minute. I'm like, I'm going to be 60, have these long ass balls, living in an apartment in Alhambra, and I, I can't afford to get them reduced. Do you want to get your balls reduced? I'm certain. I'm certain at some point a lot of what? long yeah. ball is coming for me. Well, they do long like, ball. You know, like when old guys get really long balls. Yeah, that's coming for all of us, I, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I You're don't, still too young. Guys. I know. I was born with long balls don't fuck it <laughs> I, I was born in the darkness it, <laughs> what, 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 why would you what, what would happen you would get your balls smaller or you would get like no a, you can reduce a them. sack lit yeah a you sack get a sack, lit. A sack do lit. people yeah, do yeah. that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely 
than name, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> I guarantee you Jeff Bezos five, is oh, as dude, a baller. He ball probably rat. got a few extras put in. I bet you Warren Buffett hasn't, and he's, he's like folksy about it. <laughs> he <laughs> refuses to get his balls. He's like, in. I drink a Coke every day, and I, I got the long balls that my wife doesn't touch. But also, I'm an evil man, <laughs> and I probably fuck children. What's his deal? He eats McDonald's if the stock market's up and Dairy Queen if it's down. Or yeah, anything. some really d- dumbass bullshit. And everybody's yeah. like, oh, he's such a simple guy. It's like, he's pure evil. Yeah. He is. It's like, I fuck a woman if the stock market's up and a child if it's down. I'm just a folksy <laughs> guy who sits on $400 billion that the rest of the country cannot use to what buy insulin. Sad life. Yeah, I, I, he's never the, gotten in trouble for anything. The yeah. long balls, though, Bruce. Yeah, he I, will. Wait, it, once he dies. Yeah. It's not just cosmetic, you know, the long balls. It's, it's you a, start sitting on him? Yes, he's sitting on them. They're you know they're gobbling up your leg mm-hmm. like they're goblin, goblin. Man, that sounds awesome. There, it's just like I don't know. At some point, it just gets to be too much. You guys, you are know? you guys, you guys, uh, you guys, cornstarch guys, you fucking baby powder guys over here. I don't, but I probably should. I I haven't lately because for work I have to wear black pants, and there was there was a humiliating night in my life where I baby powdered up, <laughs> and then I just looked like I was fucking baking a fucking pie in my lap. <laughs> your dick. So you put the baby coke. powder directly on the ball sack. I grab if I'm wearing jeans like this, mm-hmm. I will grab baby powder. Right. I will pull my pants out like I just will pull them out and I will just like fuck. Jared from Subway. Yeah. I kind of do it from high up. Like you're making <laughs> like Jared yeah. from Subway. Like you're making donut holes at Krispy yeah. Kreme. I do you have it, the thing, the basket. Or you know what I do is I, I I do it into my underwear and then I'll be sitting there and then I'll like go like like you know when you want to swing your sack back and forth. Mm-hmm. I'll do that a bunch and then it'll kind of smoke out the room. Yeah. Right. That's how I get out. That's how whenever every time my girlfriend wants to have sex, I'm like yeah. Just one second, and then I put the thing on, and then I do that, and then a magician's cloud appears, yeah. and I have baby powder, and I run away. I remember as a kid, I heard like somebody be like, "Yeah, he jerked off into a sock." You know, you'd always hear that, and I didn't. Yeah. I didn't understand what it meant, so I tried. I grabbed the sock and tried to fuck my dick yeah. with the sock, and it hurt like shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. It felt he, like absolute dog shit. Yeah. Remember when it's you, whenever you were a kid, especially if it's a ribbed sock. Yeah. Like uh, if if you. And have, then like, I heard somebody else sock. was like, "They use lotion." I tried that. I was like, "This sucks." Yeah. Lo- if you use if you grease. See? There was a guy I was yeah. talking to the other day that was talking about how he's he's doing some wet jerk in these days, and I was like, dude, get yeah, like a it's fucking <laughs> job. Yeah, that's, that's too much. Get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse, I was I have a, a friend of, of somebody that we all know. I don't want to reveal anyone's secrets on the podcast. They were like, yeah, I spit on my hand. Yeah, and I was like, come right, on, dude, get the fuck out. What, what are you? What are you in jail? Yeah, Brian yeah. said that. <laughs> <laughs> Brian <Just>, Singer, <Sigurd. laughs> yeah. hawking a loogie. On your Jesus fucking dick? Christ. No thanks. No, I uh, I I always I just goes yeah, dry and slowly ruin my dick over time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I go dry and I go ear to the wall to listen to my neighbors fight. <laughs> 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 to the couple next door fight. You have a big glass. She's, yeah, <laughs> she's like you're a fucking. I have a cheerleader's cone that they yell into, but then I put that in the wall, and then it goes to my ear, and she's like you're a fat alcoholic. He's like, well, you a bitch. <laughs> Bruce is like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Then they they, they yeah. hear me. They're like, yeah. what the fuck? You with a big like a Victoria phone like that? Don't <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, guys who like, fought in the I Civil War like, years. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. What's like that a, now? A deaf person in the 30s. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love that old guys in the in the, like the 1910s just had to carry around a giant horn everywhere. It's insane. Yeah. If you wanted to get any pussy, you had to. <laughs> Imagine what a nightmare getting pussy was back in the day. Like when you were like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Do you like, think you could get pussy for having like a conch, like a nice conch ooh. shell? Oh, actually, oh, it, it might have been easy because it might have been something as easy as getting a conch shell. Yeah, yeah. You know, the best thing about having a conch shell is that you go out, you show it around town, you say, "Hey, anybody want to fuck me?" Because I got this conch shell. <laughs> and then they get, "No, no, 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 we're not going to do that." And you go home and you fuck the conch shell. <laughs> <laughs> you just have sex with the conch shell. That's that good, night. folks. Yeah. You just fucked the conch shell. <laughs> there's your, there, there's one guy who like figures a, that yeah. out and just like lives happily ever after, like alone. Your cock is forever in a spiral shape after. That how much jerking were dudes doing back in the day? When did jerking off become most popular? Is it more uh, when, uh, when Adam first took the <laughs> apple from Eve's <laughs> hair? Is jerking off more popular now than ever? Probably, yeah, because you're porn. on the news. Yeah. Is jerking off more popular? <laughs> it's something called jerking off, and your teen might be doing it. <laughs> Dude, well, I, I remember, I wish they told you as a kid that everybody did it because yeah, I think, yeah, all yeah. once you find the, out that everyone's doing it, yeah, because well, all of us yeah. went through the two years where we were like. I literally thought I discovered jerking off. Yeah, because nobody had ever told me about yeah. it. Yeah, and I remember I've told you about this. There was like a two-year period where nobody talked about it, so I didn't know if it was a sin or not. Yeah. So it was like I was like getting away. It was like not paying my taxes. Like I'm getting away with some, <laughs> but I know it's probably bad. But I probably had a refund, so it's okay. Yeah. And but then I remember in church youth group, some guy specifically being like, "You know what? I'm just going to say it all. 
if you're masturbating, that is a sin. And me be going like, fuck! <laughs> In the yeah, back yeah. of the room, everyone's yeah. dead silent. Just, God! Gosh, dang it! Mother freaker! I had the same experience, and it was mind-blowing to me. I was like, yeah. there's no way. I felt like that was the one mm-hmm. like uh, safe haven you had if right. you were going to try to be celibate. You could at least jack off. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, no, no jacking no off. Jacking and I was off. like, and then also when you do... Let, tell me about it. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to tell all your your buddies about it so that they can pray for you. Right. You're in com- like, confession with the 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 priest. Like, man, I got to at least be able to jack off. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, bro, man. Let a brother jack his dick off. You can't even jack up my dick off. <laughs> well, no, it's like man. no porn. I got that. No sex. I got that. And then like certain handies and BJs. I knew that was bad. Mm-hmm. But just mm-hmm. jerking mm-hmm. off yourself, it just it didn't make sense. Be- being religious that, at 30 years old. That's why I left the church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Turning to religion because you're like a dude. Who gets no ass, and you're like, well, actually, mm-hmm. I'm not allowed. <laughs> I'm actually not allowed to. Fuck. Well, we would have guys come down. I've talked about this with you before. The guys would come down, and like during the service, they'd be like, if you want, if you got something you need prayed about, come fill out one of the forms in the pew yep. in front of you. Come on down, and you, every once in a while, there'd be like some 50 year old dude who'd come down and be like, I've just been jacking. Oh, oh. He would say it. He's, no, yeah. I mean, he would be like, I've oh. been struggling with pornography, watching pornography, and I yeah. can't stop. And then everybody's, I mean, everybody's like, like what a dumbass. <laughs> We're all watching porn, idiots. <laughs> yeah, that's what you should have been in the back. Like, we all do it. <laughs> we, all, we all do it, dumbass. That's the truth, man. Yeah. It's just like some of us would feel guilty about Grown, it. Grown, like a guy who owns his own construction company being like, yeah. okay, good. Stop jacking all that, dude. I took two boards into that pussy. Some plaster putty in it. I took, I took two sponges in a cup with a, a nylon sack. Yeah. I've been banging the love seat in the den for the last three weeks. I straight. put a watermelon in the oven and I drew a big hole in it and put my donger in yeah. there. You know the paint roller? You, you know the partner slips on? I've been fucking it. He's in front of a mega church. Yeah. Some guy with the yeah. electric guy's like, yeah. Jesus Christ. I've been man. fucking the hole in the guitar yeah. between the strings. <laughs> it hurts but it hurts good. Yeah. I'm praising the Lord. I do remember I loved uh, church judgment because we were we were like very you know no instruments or anything. And I remember oh going, really I remember going to like a secular church like is that, we called is that it. An electric, we talked about electric guitar. Yeah, church people people like, electric so. church and people have their hands up in the air and I'm in the back. I'm like, well, look at these fucking dumbasses. Yeah, <laughs> everyone knows you sing a cappella and to atone for your sins, you get dunked in water behind the preacher. You wouldn't stage. do uh, <laughs> they wouldn't even do acoustic guitar. Then no, we weren't even allowed uh, to clap. I remember somebody got baptized on Easter, and Easter, you know, you got a lot of sinners coming in for their one-time trip to church. That's right. And somebody got baptized, and a bunch of people started clapping, and like all the old deacons were like, like, totally turned and looked at them. Wow. Like nobody claps in this goddamn church. Was there a dirt floor? <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was the. Was there a dirt floor? It was the. There will be blood. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I went to dirt floor church, but really? Tom, the, Tom uh, needs a new left shoe. If anybody in the <laughs> audience can donate one, before my church got enough money to turn into like a, a, a an electric guitar mega church type, mm-hmm. beat, the uh, there was a dirt floor. A dirt floor, but they were still like Johnny Cash. There, yeah, yeah, but they were still like. Oh, God, he's an awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah they're playing like Dio. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. a Christian in the dark. <laughs> Dude, there's yeah, this just like sat like satiring de- like heavy metal shit. This guy who, who played guitar in the in the worship band when I was in it, uh, We're the worship band, We're worship band, yeah. and he would uh, ed- he would do a guitar solo. And I remember one Sunday, he's like he's he's one of those guitar players who doesn't play a lot. I don't know if you've ever seen like a guitar. So sometimes they're all over the place, you know, they're playing a melody, but sometimes they're really just fucking with the effects. Yeah. He, mm-hmm. he, he relies on the he's pedal. Do, yeah, he's and doing he was, a, the edge. On yeah. Him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he literally grabbed like the microphone stand and started using it like a slide. Fuck mm-hmm. yeah. So after, <laughs> and we did four services. I remember after the, like. I thought you were going to say he did four <laughs> solos. <laughs> he, did, he did do four solos throughout the Sunday morning because we had four different services. Right. So he, uh, but at the end, the pastor like came in and was like, we need to take it down a little bit. You know, we'll make sure we need to be glorifying the Lord, okay, and not ourselves. You not know, making women there. wet. Yeah. And he didn't know because I was fucking, I was double basing back there. I was going hard. And like, yeah, you're doing the spins and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, for Jesus. <laughs> I was spinning it for Jesus. Yeah, you, but you had your, your drumsticks like this as a cross yeah. whenever shit was going on. Oh, always. Always, dude. Bless dude church him. sucks so much dick. I, I remember, I, I remember, so at the, my church, there was like, the the kids would have to like like chill for like because they would play music for a minute and then like the pastor would come out and be like good morning everybody and then 
they'd be like, and now all the children can be excused, and you have to go to like oh, a yeah. separate thing. And I remember always thinking, like, dude, they are shit is going down in the fucking adults. Shit, like they're fucking, <laughs> they're like partying, like mm-hmm. they're like, and I'm in this room with this fucking like, it's just a nightmare. This guy knows no shit. I gotta sit with these other kids who are fucking morons. Yeah, yeah. But I remember this girl. Her name was Brooklyn. By the way, that is how uh, the beginning of you starting this next story is how most people stayed in church. I remember this girl in Brooklyn. I, I remember There's I liked to go to a girl, I, but I was dude. I was. I don't even know why. I think I just watched too many movies. But I remember being like a young kid and being like, "Oh, I'm sure I would. I'd love to fuck." Yeah, yeah. Her, I'd love to. I fuck. just want to make goo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would love to fuck Brooklyn. <laughs> Dude, you know what the sickest move I ever did was? <laughs> is uh, that's when you're a kid. You're literally like that. <laughs> like there's just so much pent up. I remember like, like literally like like being in like middle school and like the girl who got boobs first, like walking around like with her boobs out, just me being like, God damn it! Yeah, I like, say I switched schools because my friend told me that <laughs> there was girls, with there was boobs? girls with boobs. Because really? I, I went to an elementary school and then I told my parents that I had a, a dream. Flat chested bitches. <laughs> well, so I had a dream. I said, you know, I I did. I had a dream that I was uh, like. Sharing sucking the gospel, big titties. yeah, sucking on big titties. <laughs> I was sharing the gospel on the lunch tables at Tanaya Middle School, which was the public school. So then I went to uh, Tanaya, or no, maybe it was Lawless. Anyway, I went to one Lawless, of the <laughs> Lawless Middle <laughs> yeah. School where yeah. chicks yeah. have big tits. That's no, no. awesome. I went to Lawless. No, it was Lawless because I was first because I went there. And you walk into Lawless and it's like the NFL, like yeah. intro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hank yeah. Williams Jr. Yeah. 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 He's doing like Ray yeah. Lewis dancing. Are you ready for some titties? And then the way that the way that you run onto the field. There's all the cheerleaders, but you're like smacking everybody's tits on the way in. You just you run through a big paper vagina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I saw so my parents were like, "All right, we'll let you go to this public school," and that was where uh, I had somebody wanted to beat me up. Came up to me with like a group of people and was like, "I heard you were talking shit. I'm going to kick your ass." Oh. And so I bent over and I was like, "I thought we were going to be friends, you know." But well, if you he, bent over in what way? I bent. I turned. He said, "I'm going to kick your ass because you've been talking shit." And I said, I thought we were going to be friends, and I, I think we're going to be friends after this. But if you have to do this to get this out of your system, get to kicking. And I turned around and bent over, and I was like, I love you, and Jesus loves you. Damn. And damn. then he's like, I would well. have double kicked your ass. Yeah. If yeah. You said that to well, he, well, dude. dude, it threw him off. He's wearing a cross. The cross started like burning his skin. You know. And then, <laughs> no, but he literally was like, You fucking stupid man. You fucking crazy. Like, and and walked away. But then I so I said. <laughs> That happened. It's TD Jakes, <laughs> and then I had right, <clears throat> and then I had a, a a buddy sleepover, and he was like, "Dude, you remember this girl? You remember this girl? And oh, oh, dude, this girl." And he's like, "He's like, summer has been so good to these girls." Hey, hey. <clears throat> All right, he's fine. He's just dog so got too horny. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, about yeah, tits way, now. Way too horny. Uh, yeah, and so he... That's just Kevin. It's While fine. he's telling the story. It's fine. This is what happens every time I start to tell a long-winded story. A dog barks mm-hmm. to get me to shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, <clears throat> so, but he told me, and then I told my parents, I'm like, I just got to go back. I got to go back. And oh, so you I, had to go back to the school. Yeah, so I went back to the school uh, for like the rest of the semester. You're like the line transfer guy at yeah. the grocery store. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and it was, uh, it was uh, not worth it. And then I went back and I was like, wait, summer was good to everyone. <laughs> like, and it was, uh, yeah. So yeah, I, there was girls in my school who got tits way early, big can. <laughs> <laughs> and one of their moms worked at the gas station and still does. And I would, I would always see her after. And she would, uh, that's like after I moved and I'd started comedy. And I think she wanted me to come back and marry your big titted daughter. Yeah. I was like, I can't do it. Is, okay. is that how she sold you on it? <laughs> yeah, she's like, you know, my daughter. She would pull out the 44 ounce cups, be like, you see these? <laughs> and she put them on her chest. My daughter's tits are as big as the guts. If you really yeah. want to get a slurp on, <laughs> I do. Call my daughter. I will catch myself, like, you know, you'll just go through regrets in life and stuff. And one of the ones I'll, one I will catch myself in is just being like, I'm like the amount of chicks I could have fucked if yeah. I wasn't Christian. Like not like not like you know pussy lying where it's like oh she totally would have fucked me. Yeah. But it's like no she was literally like was about to fuck me and I was like I I've got to get out of here. Yep. Yeah. And go read the Bible. <laughs> yep. No, I <laughs> literally get home and you're just pressing the Bible <laughs> yeah. on your dick super hard. Yeah. No, like go down. Yeah, just having go a, down. Having a lecture for eight hours. <laughs> just throwing holy water on it. I, Why am I like this? Dude, the amount of men that were in tears. over over getting boners and not and jacking off and mm-hmm. horn. Just getting big red dicks. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. dude, it's it hurts. Fuck. It's insane. It, it hurts. But I would Jesus. have so many of these conversations, these grown men who are just like, you know, 25, 
you know, 30 year old men just being like, I can't stop, man. Like, and I'm, <laughs> you can't stop cranking it? Yeah. And just being like, it's a sin. It's bad. And then I saw I was downloading an illegal version of the Matrix. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> pornography pops up. And, and then I, the devil's behind every bush, man. I don't know what to do. And we're just yeah, like, yeah. And, and we're like, you smack him. You're like, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> well, I finally was just like telling dudes, like, dude, don't feel so bad if you look at porn. Just don't make it a huge thing. And then I'd have people be like, no, that's bad, dude. Don't, that's not good. You can't say that. And I'm just like, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. I feel like everybody's looking at porn. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no way. You but, have to. <clears throat> it should be a law that you have to look at a certain amount of porn every week. <laughs> I just love that, by the way, now there's a women's college basketball game playing on the TV. Well, this chick's hot. While we're having this conversation. Oh, Damn, yeah. this chick plays for Stanford. She must be smart. Yeah. Uh, oh, now the other chick's rubbing her shoulders. This is hot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I had the sickest porn stash ever under my bed. <laughs> you had physical porn? Dude, I made my own Were you born porn. in the 70s? No, I made my own. I would Because so, I would go on the family computer, dude. I would dial up fucking worldsex.com. Yeah, worldsex. Dude, and this is, dude, the biggest, the most mind-blowing thing Probably the moment that like really brought me into this reality was I was on the computer and I would go to the I didn't realize I know how the internet worked really mm -hmm. so I would go on the thumbnail and then I would be like I thought I knew how the internet works so I'd be like view image and then I would blow it up and then I would print it out and I had like a fucking stack like spread out like you would lift my mattress up in between the mattress and the box spring like I was just sleeping on fucking right. money you know <laughs> what I'm saying yeah, yeah. your mattress is like, <laughs> like just bulged yeah. incredibly in the middle yeah. your back's yeah. all fucked up with the way Scrooge McDuck had that big room with coins right. I had a big room like that with porn printed pornography I would print it off the thing on the family computer I would go in delete the thing but there was one day where I was in the middle of a you know a filing sesh sure. and uh, I was you know getting I was getting all the news yeah, yeah just working and like, <laughs> I was like a lady at the DMV. I have like a radio up, and I was sir, like, call to win tickets. Sir, I need this in triplicate. Uh, <laughs> sir. But so I would get You're that sweating because you run out of ink. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Ah. Like, who used all the goddamn ink? <laughs> no, I don't guarantee that. Happened. Bro, there was a lot of shit that I. But what I was gonna say is that uh, I was trying to. I was in the middle of some of my shit, dude, mm -hmm. getting my work done, mm -hmm. doing my homework, yeah. and uh, <laughs> I was. That was my homework. I went to porn school. Uh, I would do. I would. I was. Doing I was printing it, and then I accidentally uh, left clicked one of the thumbnails <laughs> instead of right click to pull up the things, and I clicked it, and it was a video of a woman being fucked. And mm -hmm. I literally was sitting there, and I remember being like, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. What the fuck is going on? I like may as well have gone and burned all the fucking thing. Right. Uh, that was the biggest issue. Is that we like my computer? Yeah. My, it was kind of like this kind of setup where it was like the like, computer was in like a den, not like an office. Where mm -hmm. It was like a den where it was open. Sure. And so like if nobody was if nobody was home, I was the fucking king. Oh I, yeah, I was yeah. the king of the world. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But they would be like late at night where people would be home, and I would be like uh, doing that, and then if like shit fucked up, I'd be like fucking. Uh, I was on <laughs> e bombs world the whole time. Like if somebody came out, I'd be like I was playing fucking. I was this. playing the puncho. Song. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm playing fucking space pinball. What the fuck? You're a bitch. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> to my mom. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm like that abusive kid from Dr. Phil that slapped his mom around yeah, when it's yeah, all about yeah. internet porn. Yeah. Fuck you, mom. I got caught the very first time I looked at porn. Jeez, oh, see, dude, probably nightmare. saved my life, honestly, a little bit. It was literally like I was like working Save up the courage. Like a friend had told me, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, dude. And then I like literally I'm like, look up porn. I'm gonna man. do it. I literally remember like wait, and I like sight like <laughs> like this is like this is what we play for. <laughs> and like I I literally googled big. It's like yeah, it's like the, the, the yeah. dial up tone. You're like stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, choppers outside. <laughs> yeah, so we know you're looking at pornography. Get your hands <laughs> up. <laughs> Come out with your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> but I literally I googled big boobs and I was like, dude, fuck, fuck yeah, dude, fuck. And then um, literally, it was, then, it was like Sable from WWF. It wasn't yeah. even like porn. It was right. just like chicks with big. No, like literally like that. I was like, fuck, fuck, yeah, fuck. And uh, the next day, were you cranking it? Or were you just like, holy shit? Oh, you better, be you better believe Excuse I was cranking. Crying. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, and then the next day was before the All Star Baseball game, which is my first time getting picked for the All Star Baseball oh, game. Shit. Wow! It was like big. I was like, okay, gotta gotta nail this All Star Baseball game so my dad will love me. And then <laughs> literally, like, they have the pants on. That always made me self conscious as a fat kid. Those baseball pants. <laughs> I quit baseball to not wear those pants anymore. Those little tight pants. Too tight. And you then I get have pants. the belt. Have the belt and my, my the glove. belt is stretchy. Is what's nice. Yeah. The belt. <laughs> oh, I love the stretchy. You're like, belt. Don't believe, believe, and I believe me. I oh, kept the belt. I'm, I'm getting the belt and I'm going like I'm going full. 
full like winching it like shut like four buttons <laughs> tied like you're tying it. down a trailer yeah. like a fucking <laughs> <laughs> And um, I'm literally like, I got my bad and my mom comes up to me and she's like, you know, when you look at something on the computer, I can see that. And oh, then just Jesus. walked away to let me sit in it. And I was like, Fuck! like just drove. You're dro- just at the plate. You're like, oh, no, shit. Like, and it, like drove in silence to the game. Like a word, like words, like five air. Like they had to take me out of the game. Oh, I'm crying man. the whole game. Yeah. They don't know. They just coach is like, what's wrong? You're like, I should have never looked at big titties, coach. <laughs> Son, it's okay to look at big Son, titties. Son, hit the showers. God damn it. It's all right. <laughs> Boy, I, we all have an affinity towards big titties. <laughs> yeah. Well, we talked about this on the last episode. We talked about this on the last episode, but it's like we would go to church, but my parents weren't like fire and brimstone folks. Really uh-huh. like, they might, like my dad if would be like, Drunk and he'd be like, "God hates you if you suck off a, a guy." <laughs> just like sh- random bullshit. Right. But like, I feel like they would. I don't do that. Maybe I was just like a fucking computer hacker because I never got caught up in that shit. Dude. I was fucking in there, dude. I had yeah, my stash. You had the glasses I had, on. I did. I did. Yeah. I had like the fucking the prodigy is playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got if, caught if, one time cranking it, it actually i never got caught cranking it i, I never, never got caught looking at yeah i never got caught cranking i never got i definitely caught. had a lot of where i just flipped my dick right into my pants as the door was opening and my parents in retrospect totally knew what was happening yeah no because i'm just sitting up in bed with the blanket over me being like what what's going on <laughs> no tv on yeah Dude, yeah no i i had i, I had was down, praying i had downloaded a new dialer that actually created phone charges for my dad and he's like, we did, we, we looked back, you were the only one here when these charges showed up. And then he like slid over like a bill for these porn sites at, the, at Max's Diner. <laughs> and he never, took you out to Max's to diner? diner? Damn. He took me to you Max's. You thought you were going to get some getting... pancakes and you got a fucking harsh dose yeah. of reality? Like yeah. You're getting let like, go at a job. <laughs> dude, really? It was like, and then I was like. Turn I, in your lotion. <laughs> and the ankle one. <laughs> yeah. Your lotion and your Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> I, just gra- I grabbed the thing so fast. I was like, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. He's like, I, I need that. I actually need that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> just tell me what, what do I have to do? Like, what a, just give me I'll pay whatever Kevin like, stop calling 1-800 triple X gay porn <laughs> <laughs> no nah, dude I yeah I was searching my neighbor had like a whole dat file system and everything dat like, fan yeah dat fan yeah, yeah. dat fan lived next door no he had the, and my mom would come in when I was jacking off and she was like you better not be jacking off <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, he had like I remember he just he had folders of like those, those open top ones with all the floppy disks in it, but there were DAT files which were like bigger, and he would just download a shit ton. And uh, I was like, Is your, "You're going to get in trouble because he just leave everything out." And he would order like NC seventeen or like soft core shit on the on uh, the cable, and he's like, "Oh, my mom doesn't care." And I was just like, "What?" Is yeah. this world she doesn't care. She doesn't look. No, she doesn't care. Like, I, she just I remember care. going over to a friend's house at 12, and they were the family. They were Christian, but they had the rule. They're like, we do not care what media our child can do. They were like, kind of like yeah. hippies a little bit. They're like, we do not think media is bad. And yeah. they showed me, the. they pulled out a VHS of The Rock, uh, oh. the Nicolas Cage, Sean Connery oh, yeah, yeah, movie, yeah. and it has like a ton of fucks in it. Yeah. And I remember they, they were playing it, and I was watching with their my, my friend, and I remember being like scared. <laughs> like I was scared and I felt like, you were like this is not a safe environment like literally just hearing Sean Connery go like fucking hell and I'm like oh, 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 I gotta call my mom yeah you, you thought you were gonna burn in hell at that very moment yeah literally yeah. Literally, yeah well yeah. you both you and Ben had talked about like really believing that, that you were going to hell I never had that very much. Oh, I hundred percent. I've. We, I mean, we talked about it so much on Brain Joe, but yeah, I yeah. literally late at night. I would imagine the wall of fire coming through the wall because mm. uh, my dad told me the world went into a wall of fire when I was eight, mm-hmm. and I just remember great. Back I just remember. Just hey, kids, he just pops into your room. Hey, kids, the world went into a wall of fire. And hey, you guys have a good night. Just close. <laughs> There's also a time where he goes. I think it was like nine. And we just got our first dog. He goes, I want you to know, if that dog dies, it doesn't have a soul. So it does not go to heaven. All right. Your dad's what like a, a, a gatekeeper when it comes to heaven. He's like, oh, that movie, All Dog Go to Heaven? That's some bullshit. That's some, that's some bullshit. That's some, that's some that, crap. Propaganda from the left. <laughs> hey, Jim Avery, no <laughs> dogs go to heaven. That's full name on the podcast. <laughs> I've said it before. I yeah, mean, you uh, probably have. But still. But I mean, what is he running for public office? Well, yeah, know. he's running for a deputy sheriff. <laughs> is <laughs> he really? Cook County. That's, the, that's my father in law. Is mm-hmm. Isn't the your dad a, a, a coach of a certain sport? Girls basketball, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to put it out there too much. Do you think he's in the huddle? He's like, listen. 
if we don't win this game, the world's going to end in a wall of fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, Probably, I, yeah. I, I can't help it. You know, just the, your your dad is just it gets it always gets a guaranteed laugh. Oh, know, it's it's so. a very funny, very funny story. But anyway, I would stare at the wall and imagine, literally, like imagine like wall fire, and you go like, no, 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 and then like just like, <laughs> dude, no, come on, <laughs> dude, no, and then and then there was that I would go to heaven. And they would play your whole life in front of everybody you know. Oh, yeah. And then it would just, it would be me imagining my mom watching me jack off on the big screen. Yep. And just crying. Imagine they do crying play they because play she that. knew I was going to hell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, in like Purgatory where they have like the big like screen? Like the judgment where they're like, hey, we're going to play your whole life to make you feel <sighs> shitty about it. Yeah, that would be so sick. And then you're going to hell. Imagine yeah. being in line and being like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking oh hell no like you just know you're going to yeah. hell you like, don't care like, Imagine yeah, I, yeah I we to jacking my, off I get to my 20s and I'm like fucking I'm like the hottest chick I fucked in my life and yeah. I'm just looking at my dad I'm like that's right that's right I got that shit that's right. <laughs> yeah your dad's and like then the floor opens up yeah you see them titties yeah I would be in line behind him like man it's getting hot <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah that's like, what's up yeah I'm going to hell too I don't give a yeah. shit I don't give a fuck <laughs> yeah I'm behind, I'm behind Leon Black <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh damn oh damn. damn damn you was in there getting it damn like, don't talk to my son <laughs> <laughs> leave my son alone get out of here now, come on, man! Damn, all, that's we, some that's some weird porn. Yeah, that's that, borderline yeah. not legal. And your dad's like, "Come on, man!" He's like, "What, man? We all dead. We all dead. It don't matter. We dead, man." Your dad becomes the coolest guy ever <laughs> in the afterlife. No, I'm saying the guy behind him. You're, oh, your, okay. your dad's like, "Leave yeah. my son out." Come yeah. on, man. We all dead. We come, come on, man. Come you on. Yeah. give a fuck no more. Yeah. Man. You will be living next to you. Yeah, y'all go to heaven. I'm gonna go to hell. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you better not fuck up up here because you gonna come down here with me. Yeah, <laughs> you get to judgment. You see God's black. You're like, damn it. Like I just celebrated. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh shit! Man, we're oh, we like, are. Yeah, yeah he's like he's like dapping yeah, up with God. My dad tried to be like, "It's Jim Avery. It's nice to meet you." I used to coach a black team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When right. your my son was young, I coached a black team, and they made fun of him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I, we have to wrap up in a second. But Dude, you're, you're they, the first time I ever played uh, in travel baseball. It mm-hmm. was like, because I played in the country. Like, so it was like mostly like, there was Mexican kids, but it was like Mexican kids and like white country ass kids. Sure. And there was one time, the first time ever, I think the first time I ever saw like actual athletic. The first like, time I ever killed a Mexican. No, the di- <laughs> like the difference between like the athleticism of like white country kids and sure. like black inner city kids. Oh, yeah. like, so Brutal. it was this base, this team they were the t- t- name of the team was Monet. And they remember they had purple jerseys, purple pants, yellow piping, <laughs> yellow letters. Dude, they were sick. They were, yeah. we were like nine maybe. Yeah. And they were like striking us out, like throwing the ball around. Mm-hmm. They were fucking turning double plays. And I remember being like, Jesus man, we're getting our fucking ass kicked out here today. <laughs> yeah. And they yeah. fucked us up. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I don't know where they were from, but they fucked us. That up. can either encourage race, or eliminate or eliminate it completely. Yeah. Yeah. We we played country basketball. That was the same thing. And then during the summer league, we would go to Abilene into the city to play all the black kids all the time and just get Housed. dominated. Yeah. Ben quit basketball the day after a guy <laughs> jumped over him. I <laughs> that. Jesus the black Christ. dude, like he's like Ben's like twelve. This dude's six four. He tries Ben tries to take a charge charge on him. Guy jumps over the like nuts in the face, <laughs> lays it up and one. Ben's yeah. like. And yeah, I don't like sports. I like iron. No, the next day he's like, I, I decided to quit basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a press conference for your house. Yeah. Like yeah. the Tiger Woods. No, yeah, he just, he, to pursue his career of getting nuts in his face. <laughs> he's like, I finally figured I it out. I found my calling, baby. Mm-hmm. And then we uh, discover golf, and we're like, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nobody in sight. <laughs> <laughs> so peaceful out here. Yeah, going to our first tournament, see one black, and we're like, oh, no. We're like, fuck, he works here, yeah, right? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I, have to, I have to go. I have All a right. spot. All right. Well, hey, uh, Jace, thank you thanks, so Jace. much. Of course, thanks for having for, me. For coming on. on. Uh, I wanted to call your podcast um, uh, the F word for gay people, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't do that. Yeah. It does rhyme well. It does rhyme well. It rhymes yeah. very well. Anything you want to promote before we go? Uh, just my Instagram. That's about it. Sad so. drawings by Jace. Yeah. And uh, what have you decided? Have you changed? Uh, Jace Avery, have you changed your opinion on hanging with Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, me and my team are going to reevaluate we're going <laughs> over, to discuss. The, over the off season. Over the off season, we're going to see where we're at. I'll take I'll it. Yeah. That's the only upside of the apocalypse. I'm like, I'm going to go over there. I'll have all the guns. <laughs> and I'll have water and we'll have a Jeep. And I'll be like, Jace, yeah. I'm like, you hang? can't make me do the apocalypse with you. 
the zombies are running after you. You're like, come on. You're like, no, I'm not camping. Dude, I hate camping. I'm not camping. Um, thanks right. for thank thanks you for, guys uh, very much. for watching. Uh, make sure to uh, uh, subscribe and all that good stuff. Throw a like, do a uh, a review on the iTunes or wherever you listen, and share with your family and friends, and uh, uh, share with your coworkers. Mom, cause... check out this great podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they talked about jacking off for twenty five minutes. Uh, all right, all right. See, see you, you next Bruce. week. Bye.